All right, fabulous first graders. We're doing closed syllables. A single vowel followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is short. Remember our doorway? Our doorway. We're doing closed syllables. One vowel followed by one or more consonants. You can't get to the door. The door stays closed. You can only go a short way. So we put the short mark on top. That's called a breathe. And then the O says ah for its short sound. The next word is got. I got a new puppy. Got. G. A. T. The first sound is G. 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 It's a G. Watch how I make the G. I make a magic C because a, a C can turn into lots of different other letters. So it's a magic C up to touch, down, and hook. Again, magic C up and touch. You touch the top of the C. Down and hook to the front. G. The next sound is ah. And the next sound is t, t. Come down from the top, go down, and then cross. G. The next sound and the next word is pop. I will pop the balloon. P. Ah. P. 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 My lips are closed and then I pop the air. That reminds me, the line is first, the line goes under the writing line, don't pick up your pencil, slide back up on that line, and then make your bubble sit on the writing line. P. The next sound is ah, and then we have p again, p, p. my lips are closed, and then I pop the air, go down under the writing line, slide back up and put the bubble sitting on top of your writing line. Single, one vowel, followed by one or more consonants. It's closed. Remember, the door stays closed. It can only go a short way. So we put the short mark, the breathe, on the top. That lets us know it says, ah, pop. The next word is hop. I will hop on pop. That's a good book from Dr. Seuss. Let's sound it out. Ah. Uh, the first sound is. That's the air sound again. If I'm tired. I can sit in a chair and go. So it's the H. Come down from the top all the way down. Swim back up and swim over. Kind of looks like a chair, doesn't it? A big chair. So when you sit in a chair, you can sigh and go, <sighs> the next sound is ah. We know that one. We've been practicing that one. Ah. And then we have p. p. My lips are closed. The line comes first. Go down under the writing line. Slide back up. And make your bubble sit on top of the writing line. Hop. I'll move this up. The next word is ma. Ah. And p. My lips are closed and then I pop the air. My lips are closed. The line comes first. Go down under the writing line. Slide back up. Swim over and put your bubble on the writing line. One vowel followed by one or more consonants. It's closed. The vowel can only go a short way. The breathe on the top lets us know it says ah, mop. The next word is lock. I will lock the door. Lock. Ooh, ah, The first sound is ooh. My tongue is up, really straight and tall. Ooh. That's the L. Come down from the top. The next sound is ah. We know that one. Ah. The next sound is k. 
And teachers, I wanted to show you this roll. Let's see if I can get it in. Let me slide this over a little bit. The CK will represent the K sound at the end of a word or a syllable just after a single short vowel. So, single short vowel at the end of a word or a syllable, the K sound, that is, at the end of a word or syllable just after a single short vowel. So we have K just after A, which is a single short vowel. So K would be spelled with a CK. But to, the P is kind of in our box. We'll squeeze it over here. C K. C K makes one sound, so it goes in one box. Do not put a C in one box and a K in another box. These are sound boxes. Elkonin boxes. Mr. Elkonin came up with this idea. That's why we call them Elkonin boxes. They are to represent sounds, not individual letters. <coughs> So, k at the end of a word or a syllable, following a single short vowel, will be spelled with a CK. Lock. The next word is rock. I found a pretty rock. Let me pull this up. Rock. R, A, K. The first sound is R. To R, we go down, up, and swim over. Ah, k, k sound at the end of a word or syllable following a single short vowel will be spelled with a CK. Rock. Um, just to let you know, teachers, I'm using this book, Phonics and Spelling Through Phoneme Graphing Mapping by Katherine Grace. Excellent, excellent resource. This is where I learned how to do the phoneme, which are sounds, graphing, which are letters, and mapping, which is used in the Elkonin boxes. Excellent resource, well worth the money uh, if you want to get this book and use it as a resource because when you go to the Edmodo page and I have all of the words mapped out for you, I also have the rules written out with the page numbers to that phoneme graphing mapping book. And I have it up here. Phoneme graphing book and what page number. So that you have access to all of that and can understand it with a little bit more explanation if you need to in that book. All right, fabulous first graders, we have one more word, and the word is ox. Remember, the title of our story is the big blue ox, and the ox is like a big bull or a big cow, right? And he doesn't stand around and eat grass all the time. He loves to work. He pulls things like wagons and plows. So he's a work animal. So ox. So let's listen to all the sounds in the word ox. Watch me as I do it, and then I'll let you know when you can put your dots. But I want you to listen first. Ox. Ox. Go ahead and put your three dots in the three boxes because I said three sounds. You heard three sounds, so we use three boxes. The first sound is ah. That's the vowel sound we've been working on is ah. Put the brief on the top. Now, k there is only one consonant in our English language that represents two sounds, and that is the X. Because one letter represents two sounds, the one letter will be written across two boxes. Because remember, these are sounds, and the letters need to represent the sounds. So watch me. I'll put the X across two boxes because it's making the K sound and the S sound. Ox. Okie dokie, guys. That is the end of our list. 
I hope that you enjoy your story. And I know you are going to ace that spelling test on all of these words that have the ah sound. And I also know you're going to work really hard at holding your pencil the correct way. Remember, your thumb and your first finger are pinching your pencil, and the others are under. Also, the p, -p sound. Your lips are closed, the line comes first, and your bubble sits on the writing line. I know y'all are going to do a great job because you are my awesome first graders. I'll see you next week, guys.